Welcome back. We are joined now by James Jesty. He's the president of the Friendly Stranger Corporation. The Friendly Stranger is a retail store that has been in operation on Queen West for almost 25 years. The store sells not pot, or at least not yet, no. but cannabis accessories and paraphernalia. He's one of thousands of disappointed applicants who did not hit the jackpot in this week's lottery. Thank you for being here, James. Thank you. I say you're disappointed, but obviously it was probably quite expected that sure. you wouldn't win. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it, w once the rules were announced about how the lottery was going to work, um, you knew there was going to be a lot of applicants. Nobody really knew how many. You know, it ended up being, I think it was almost 60,000 unique applicants, you mm -hmm. know, with the way they split that up mm -hmm. for 25 spots. Who knew, right? Yeah. You know, I think the best guess was less than that, um, was probably in the 10,000 range. Uh, but, you know, for $75, anybody could apply, and, and it looks like lots did. Well, was there a better way for the government to do it? I know, I know it's come under criticism for sure. this, this process, yeah. but others have said it's really the only fair way to go about it. Yeah, I think it, I think there's there's it is the fair way to do it. I mean, it, you know, the good news is is that it was fair. It wasn't, you know, there's clearly was no, um, you know, no political pressure or no pressure. Nobody got licenses that you would normally expect to get licenses. Yeah. Um, if there was any sort of. Um, you know anything up to any anything not that they were but uh you know what what i guess maybe would have been a different way to look at it is to qualify first yes so because anybody can apply now they have five days to qualify to get the operator license right uh, which requires a business plan which requires you know a, quite a quite a rigorous process oh, right uh, would have been good you know maybe flip it around get that approved then and then into the lottery and i think then you'd have a better chance of having you know really qualified people that won, right? Well, do you at this point, anybody won. Do you think some of these people are going to bow out at this point because they just c couldn't possibly be ready? And it's not just the fee, the $6,000 sure. fee. Sure. They will face fines, quite yeah. likely, if they're not ready to go on yeah. April 1st. Yeah, who knows, yeah. right? Who knows? I, I think that, um, you know, I've talked to a few that won today, um, you know, and they're a bit in awe, you know, they're trying to figure <laughs> so, it out. Oh right? my they, gosh, they now what? Now, now what? They've yeah. got five days to, um, you know, to get the application in. Um, you know, certainly the, the $6,000 won't be, you know, that's not a, if you actually huge. get the application, that's not a, not a huge amount. It is if you don't. Um, you know, but I think that, that for most of them, they are, um, you know, they'll be trying to figure it out, right? And, and maybe they'll get to the 11th hour and bow out, and then some of those that are on the waiting list will, will move up. But we'll, we'll wait and see. The friendly stranger had very big plans. I, sure. I think it was like for 40 or something yeah, across yeah. the province. Yeah. So how big a setback is this it's, for you? It's a delay. It's not a setback. We still have the plans to get to 40 or 50 locations. Um, you know, what it's done for us is allow us to uh, when they changed, you know, and, and the lottery was coming out and moved away from the 75 maximum, um, well, that's, that may still be there. They haven't really talked about that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we still have a very successful accessory business and have for 25 years. Right. Uh, and we've grown it. We've bought some other locations that will start to rebrand. Uh, we've signed some new leases. And so we're going to continue to grow and build. And as we, as we convert the stores, we'll convert them to be cannabis ready. You know, what, what people don't understand maybe is there's there's quite a rigor to what we have to have in store from a security standpoint, vaults, you know, POS systems, all of that stuff that we've been working on for months, right. um, you know, to get ready for the April 1st uh, launch date. But it's safe to say you've invested a lot of money already. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And now you're sitting yeah. on leases. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah spending yeah. Well, money on your said, leases. Like for, yes. Yes. So that's, that's a disappointment yeah. and, and it's a bit frustrating, but, um, you know, it, it's going to work itself out. Right. The 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 one thing that keeps us moving and keeps us confident is the demand is clearly there. Uh, there's you know, the yeah. supply issues are indicative of that. Um, as soon as it's on a shelf, it's bought. Um, and that's just the legal side. Right. You know, the the that's the goal is to, to move it all to legal. Um, there's still lots of cannabis out there. It's illegal. But if you want cannabis today, you can walk across the street mm -hmm. and get it. It's not sure. you know, it's, it's not that hard to get. We're right. trying to move it to a legal market where it's controlled, where it's the, the way that it should be. Well, we'll see what happens. All the best, yep. James. Thank Thanks you so much, much for being it. here. Thank you.